talk of peace And walk the streets where artsy markets be Many promoters rub my lip, but yo, they talk is cheap right. Across the street, I see a couple cats sparking beef. beef Lost to me as I'm with urban youth and heat for cheap prices I operate my devices Transmit through speakers to communicate what life is Giving more than just my two bad knuckles to fight with Spirit motivated to elaborate that Christ lives I'm a fan of the slam dance passion and movement When the chains loosen, crash course exclusive Landscape destructor with a love for trying to build Start from scratch to accurately capture what I feel I'm ill from a contagious sickness I'm in the midst of individuals channeling energy So intense that it's instant upon exposure Ready to strike like the cobra I contend for what I know is truth until the game Come on now you're listening to the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. The show is coming up in about two minutes. Don't go away. Stay tuned. <laughs> Identify with the positive vibe, optimist opportunities, not often the offer options. Dangerous mind with a clear conscience. Open up and you might get it, that's right. I said it, one of the four to testify, you're living like head. If your fault might check, tenant, put it dead in an Abraham to send it, better reckon it. Isolate your style so you're not tempted to blend it with the temperament of the popular developing tenement to skill. That's why I make sure my step to the rhythm's original, skip the bullseye. Common vision ends up in crowded centers, an orthodox approach, so I aim for the outer edges. It's about to be on and popping. Show coming up in about a minute and a half. Stay tuned. On and on, I'm on the Odyssey, audit in the product of modern artistry. Don't bother me, I'm honestly starting too hard and too hard. The common songs are talking, no problems, but never commenting on proper ways to solve. Call a response from the audience is all the dollar needs to start it all again. Right. Solomon said it, our investments would expose the hearts uh-huh. and tenants. All the we're all dissolving. You're problem. locked and loaded and listening to the Stuart Media and Entertainment Network. Y'all don't hear me though. The show is coming up in about 30 seconds. Don't go away. Stay tuned. Uh-huh. Solve the numbers while the crowd was getting lost in it. The gathering for unity has proved to be the Start yeah, hip hop is an economist, so like, I'll have a problem with it. Can't we all just play our role and live the way that God intended? Yeah. Cause see, when the song is ended, try not to be all offended. I'm coming to shots intending to water the land in me. <laughs> Stewart Media and Entertainment, let's go! <laughs> Yo, 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 check this out, check this out. Wait till they pick up the phone. Check this out. Hello, Public Factory. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can I speak to Dan Patrick or, or Colin Cowherd or Skip Bayless or that ninja Stephen A. Smith? Nah, bruh. They not here. Hey, hey, yo, tell them. Dougie Stewart and the Stewie said, since they think they show hot and they sports talk, guy talk soldiers, tell them we'll go to war. Listen up, sports talk show fans and puppet factory refugees. Tired of predictable rants, relentless bullfish, and politically correct propaganda? No worries. Doug Stewart to the rescue. Oh, poke ass Tom Brady! The police think they can shoot a ninja in the back just because he's a ninja? I say... (laughs) Yes, sir! Get the hell out of here with that scripted sports talk radio. Because you just entered the TDSS zone. Ball peanuts for you! Tell the truth and shame the devil! I don't know what they want from me, man! I I feed them, and I clothe them, and I rejuvenate them! (laughs) Inflation, baby! Buckle up, boys and girls, and get ready to ride raw. With the realest, trealest sports and guy talk show in the world. This is the Doug Stewart Show. Yes! Talk that in my ear, but let that shit come down here. Anyone else that won't hurt, you can trust it. Ain't no 
Stewart Show, man. We got a lot to get into today, but fabulous. Bring it back one more time. Nice. Yeah. February 22nd, 2017. You are locked and loaded and listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Yeah. Oh, man, we have so much to get into today. A lot of people are going to be happy to talk about today's main topic. A lot of people won't. (laughs) Yeah, we're very heavy into basketball today, in particular one franchise from the West Coast. uh, used to be called Showtime, uh, the greatest basketball franchise in basketball history. Shut up, you haters. But, but before we even get to that, man, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, if you're new to the show, there's a couple things I need you to do. I need you to go to Spreaker.com. That's Speaker with an aura. Okay, go to Spreaker.com. Search and find the Doug Stewart Show. Once you find it, hit the follow button. That's very important that you hit that follow button so that when this show or any other show goes live on the network, you'll be alerted. And the second thing I need you to do is to click on the little chat bubble. We have the best chat room in the world. It's a little chat bubble icon like in the comic books. Click on that and jump into our chat room and be a part of the show. Be totally interactive. I call it the Fantasy Island of Sports and Guy Chat and its inhabitants. The people inside that chat room, I call them the Stewies. Yes, sir. Good morning, Stewies. And so post your thoughts in the chat room. I read it all throughout the show. It makes this, once again, the most interactive sports and guy talk show in America. Obviously, you know what it is, man. You've not been under a rock. You've seen the headlines over the last, I don't know, 12, 18 hours. Uh, The title of today's show, He Better Know Some Magic. We'll talk about a new direction for the Los Angeles Lakers, where L.A. went wrong. Magic ain't magic. We'll talk about that. WNBA allegations. <laughs> yeah. WNBA allegations, some NFL news, and today, today is the day that the Lord has made. God created the heavens and the earth in seven days. But on the eighth day, God created what we call Woman Wednesday. Yeah. A day where women can watch uninterrupted episodes of Oprah. Today is Woman Wednesday! Yes, sir. A day just for the ladies. A day where women snap their finger and they're on the first row of a Beyonce concert. It's a woman Wednesday! Ah! Today is also a day where if you're trying to make a sweet potato pie, it comes out absolutely perfect every time. Shut up! Shut up! Because it's Woman Wednesday! It's Woman Wednesday! It's Woman Wednesday! It's Woman Wednesday! Woman Wednesday! Woman Wednesday! It's Woman Wednesday! (sighs) (sighs) <sighs> Whew. 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 
Happy Woman Wednesday to all little ladies out there from TDSS. <laughs> right. Well, if you're new to the Doug Stewart Show, man, on Woman Wednesday, we ask all the fellas, all of the listeners to the Doug Stewart Show, not just the fellas, but the ladies as well, if they'd like, to change their profile pics to beautiful, beautiful ladies. But keep it classy. Okay? We talk about women's topics, hence the WNBA topic we'll get into a little bit today. And women go first in line. Yes! Man, I just thought about it, man. Uh, we need to have the great Thorny Switch on today, one of the, the 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 premium preferred women to the Doug Stewart Show and the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Uh, we'll put out a call to her. Maybe we'll have Thorny on the show today. Uh, last couple of weeks, the call with Thorny has ended in controversy, but I think we'll be okay. I mean, I'm turning over a new leaf. It's going to be fine. We'll try to get Thorny on today as well. Yes, sir. I should have called her early. I forgot. Hope she's not mad. So we'll do that, man. And um, the big thing is make sure you change your profile pic to a beautiful woman, a classy picture. No porn, no flim flam filth, nothing like that in the chat room. All right, well, make sure you do that. But the big news for today is... The Lakers going in a new direction, Shawty. Magic Johnson in, Jim Buss, Mitch Kupchak out. For the most part, I'm happy. For the most part. Let me give you the storylines about this, man. The Lakers have named Hall of Fame player, Magic Johnson, their new president of basketball operations, while firing longtime general manager Mitch Kupchak and removing Jim Buss as executive vice president of basketball operations. Uh, Here's a quote. Today I took a a series of actions I believe will return the Lakers to the heights Dr. Jerry Buss demanded and our fans rightly expect. That comes from Lakers president and CEO owner Jeannie Buss, Jim's sister, and saying in a statement on Tuesday, together, Irvin, Luke, and our new general manager will establish the foundation for the next generation of Los Angeles Lakers greatness. Um, and here's a, the, some of the biggest news. Sports agent Rob Palinka has an agreement in principle to become the next general manager of the Lakers. Um, Palinka will divest himself from his clients at Landmark Sports Agency which he owns alongside with Kobe Bryant. Uh, One of those clients, Eric Gordon of the Rockets, said that the agent told him and two other clients, fellow Houston players Trevor Ariza and Jim Harden, that he would be the next general manager of the Lakers. At 19-39, and the rebuilding Lakers have the NBA's third worst record and the second worst record in the Western Conference. Ah! And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Uh, Johnson made his first major trade in the new role on Tuesday night, acquiring Rockets veteran forward Corey Brewer and Houston's 2017 first-round pick in exchange for veteran guard Lou Williams, according to multiple sources. I guess that's kind of a good thing. But not really. Not really. And the reason I say not really, and you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show, just to, just to talk about this little piece, picking up Corey Brewer and giving away uh, um, Lou Williams. I mean, the Rockets should go deep into the playoffs this year. I mean, it's very logical that the Rockets are going to go, you know, maybe, possibly, probably, um, at least 